This is Nigeria, the corporate jungle, where everyone is either a hustler or a make-believe CEO. To succeed, you have to work hard and seize your opportunities. And if you do, you could be one of Africa's next billionaires. Our crude makes us one of the most oil-rich countries in the world and Africa's largest economy. However, the country still lacks basic infrastructure, a factor that can make doing business difficult. The entrepreneurial spirit in Nigeria is ranked as one of the fastest growing globally. Sterling Bank recognizes this and is giving budding entrepreneurs an opportunity to pitch their ideas, convince the judges, and get that critical capital investment to kickstart their business. The problem with that is how can I invest in your idea if I can't see how I'm going to get my money back? These applicants will come face to face with our business experts and celebrity judges who have been handpicked to help develop and decide the fates of these anxious entrepreneurs. From over 8,000 applicants, we are down to 200 business ideas. But only three with compelling innovations will be selected to grow their dream business and harness their full potential. The question now is, who will succeed, who will fail, and what business will get that 10 million Naira? 12 rounds, ding, ding. Sick and tired of the whole damn thing, yeah. Stick a move in the ring. You can hit me with the words you fling out. You're never gonna keep me down. You're never gonna keep me down. No, no, no. You're never gonna keep me down. You're never gonna keep me down. No, no, no. Be lucky if I stick around. Maybe foolish, but I ain't a clown. No, no, no. You're never gonna keep me down. You're never gonna keep me down. No, no, no. no. The Pitch Nigeria. Brought to you by Sterling. Hi, guys. Although the Nigerian youth might have been labeled as lazy, we still have the fastest group of entrepreneurs in the world. In order to start a successful business, you need to start small, but dream big. We've had over 2,000 participants coming to pitch to our judges who have money, millions to invest in their beautiful ideas. However, today we're narrowed down to our top 200. Hi guys! Hi! My name is Illy, and this is The Pitch Nigeria. It's brought to you in conjunction with Sterling Bank, and Enterprise for Development Center of the Pan African University. Now we have only one rule, impress the judges or fall out of the race. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. This is The Pitch Nigeria. Pitch Nigeria, brought to you by Sterling. What are you pitching today? Um, I'm here to pitch uh, a new product that my company has developed. Uh, it's a platform called ChirusOil.com. Um, so yeah, that's why I'm here today. Okay, man, sounds very exciting, man. New product, let's go see what the judges have to say about your pitch. Best of luck. Thank you very much. All right, thank you to slide through and they'll be waiting for you. Thank you. Lanray Smith from ChirusOil.com meets our judges. Chuki Links Edozian popular artist, web designer, and entrepreneur. Lola Falokun, project manager at the Enterprise Development Center. Good afternoon. Hi, how are you? Hi, good afternoon. The bold, Bemi Olateru Olagbegi, owner personality and CEO, Bemi Soke Shoes. You're welcome to Pitch Nigeria. Thank you. You have one minute to pitch your business idea to us. And finally, our guest judge, Olawali Anifowoshe, Programs Director at the Enterprise Development Center of the Pan-African University. Okay, thank you. Hello, my name is Larry Smith. I'm the Managing Director for Wallbay Technologies. I'm here to pitch my company and the new product that we have. I look Igbo, but I'm actually Yoruba. Um, my mom is Igbo. I, 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 schooled, I went to school in, in the north, so I would say I'm a complete Nigerian. Um, I went to the Nigerian Military School, after which um, I graduated and went to England to the Imperial College of Science, Technology and Medicine where I studied Mechanical Engineering. Imagine you're a bank, you've just disbursed 2.3 billion naira to a customer to import refined petroleum products. All of a sudden, your team goes into panic mode. They're wondering, I have to assign a collateral manager. Have they started selling? Um, who is getting me all, all, all these reports? Also, the collateral managers are, have to, on a daily basis, um, send you reports on stock movements and um, everything else that's going on in the depots. We also have the independent marketers. They have to dissipate all their product information to all, all the customers that, that needs 
than bots. And customers as well need to um, call up everywhere looking for where to buy products. Well, there must be a better way to do this. What we've done is we have integrated all these people on top of one unique platform called the Charis Oil Distribution and Management Platform. Now customers can easily um, log on, look for who has um, the available product, where, and then banks have complete visibility of everything that is uh, being sold on the platform. They're able to manage their stock. There's an, it's an 18 billion um, liters of product that are sold every year in, in Nigeria with little or no online channel. We are here to disrupt the market uh, by charging a fee for every product that is actually sold on the platform. Thank you very much. Okay, awesome. I honestly didn't quite get what that product was. He's articulate and his demeanor is confident, but he might need a miracle to convince the judges who at this point do not look impressed with his pitch. I'm looking forward to speaking with the judges from, from Sterling Bank. Um, they are one of our key target markets in terms of the audience that we want to um, to our target. They are one of the major users of our platform and they will be very instrumental in also um, deploying it for um, their own customers. You had one minute to pitch your idea but you sort of focused on the challenges more so at the time when I really wanted to hear and hit it it wasn't so in two seconds can you just tell us quickly what okay. is that solution that you're offering? Yes, so the solution is the platform that brings together everybody within the downstream oil and gas sector. I think he will need slightly more than two seconds. All right, man, all the best and uh, we'll get back to you. Thank you very much. All right. All right. Appreciate it. As he managed to win them over, from the expression on his face, Wally Anifawoshe is still unsatisfied. How was your pitch? It was good, short and sweet. Um, I had one minute and I think um, I did my company and my product justice, so yeah, it was good. Nailed it in one minute. You know, so fingers crossed, we'll see you at the top 50 pitches. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, you. have a good day. Appreciate it. All right, this is The Pitch Nigeria. More pitches coming your way. Celebrity judges, EDC judges, and lots more coming up next. Nigeria, brought to you by Sterling. Good afternoon, judges. Hello, family. You're welcome Good to afternoon. the Pitch Nigeria. Thank you. And you have one minute to pitch your business idea to us. My name is Olufemi Oshin. I started my business in January 2018 with almost nothing, except with my pen, my notepad, my phone, and my system. I started, um, I studied electrical electronics engineering in Yaba College of Technology. While I was in school, I just knew back then that I used to have this passion towards real estate. I'm working on developing an app, an application that will help prospective tenants virtually inspect a property without actually being there. They can inspect a property from the comfort of their phone. Of their phone. It's just like you using Google Street View. I want to expand and scale my business by creating a mobile app that will make it easy for prospective tenants to find the property virtually. That is, you can find the property just like you are using Google Street View. You don't need to go from one property listings to another. You just log on to my app and you can check the rooms, go around the compound. The second component of my app is that People always ask me, how is electricity situation in a particular area before they rent a property? I know that if I can in input this technology in my app, that is, I call this a power supply information um, that is going to be embedded in my application. If people can have this need, they can, this need can be solved, it's going to solve a lot of problems, it's going to increase the value of my, of my application. Thank you. Um, I think it's an interesting idea. My question would be... What way will our first pitch swing? Olufemi needs to keep the judges interested if he wants to survive the top 200 auditions. What are my expectations? Like everybody else, I expect to be selected. That's it. In everything you've said, what's the value proposition you're bringing to the market? My value proposition is 
perpetual reality. I wish you luck on your journey and I pray that, you know, you actually succeed at what you're doing, but you need to tighten up your business idea. Thank you very much, sir. Sure. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Pitch Nigeria, brought to you by Sterling. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Okay, my name is Adequito Riomi. Okay. Can you speak a little louder? My name is Adequito Riomi. Come forward, stand on okay. the circle, please. Okay. Right. Yes, my name is Adequito Riomi. Uh, I'm okay. the founder of AlphaJet. Okay, so okay. you're welcome to the pitch Nigeria, yeah, yes. and you have one minute for you to pitch your business idea to us. I come from a family of four, studied electrical engineering in school. I've been where I did, I was involved in a lot of activities. Uh, basically, for, for me, for fun, I enjoy video games, public speaking, and uh, anything that has to do with getting my hands dirty, innovation, and energy audit, and alternative source of energy. AlphaJet is a medical delivery, an instant area medical delivery system based on three goals delivering, supply chain, and, what, and storage. What's our problem? Our problem, we are targeting the ever-growing increase in mortality rate of maternal mothers and their infants during childbirth, the high fatality period during a road accident, and basically every medical problem that we have that requires instant, what, instant and quick what, and quick attention. Half budget is constantly, what are, we are proposing, what we are using our locally made drone facility to deliver drone blood and medical supplies from the process, from the places, from our delivery center to what, to medical units where they are or where they are requested for within a 40 kilometer radius. Our three major uh, financial platforms are targeting the three elites of the world, which are the, the, the pairs you go target the average Nigerians in the general hospital that cannot afford it a subscription, but when they need it, at the time they need it, they can get it. The, so, the subscription platform goes to the elite and the public and the private health center that can afford the pay the credit platform whereby they have paid and they subscribe before and and once they have any problem we can give them either a house or an hospital or an hospital assistant and our major platform which is the piggy the piggy receipt is to those areas that don't have access to the internet framework and other platform that we are that these other two sectors have but we can be using a britain receipt like the susu whereby they can issue a receipt to people that come there then we come at the end of the week okay. or at the end of the month to collect remunerations okay thank you is he selling his business passionately or just rambling? Those faces say it all. Have you been in, uh, have you done debates before? <laughs> have you done debate before? Yes, sir. You have, I can tell. We How many have drones have you built so built far? two so far. Okay. Can, you one, can you get yeah. one to come here now? No, sir. They are yeah, two different. <laughs> How long did it take to build the drones? <laughs> the first one took seven years. But the second one took like four months. Thanks Absolutely. for your pitch, we'll get back to you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Thank you very much. All right. Pitch Nigeria, brought to you by Sterling. Hello, hello, hello. Hi. Yes. <laughs> I got scared. <laughs> Halfway into the audition of our top 200, the judges have listened to several nice concepts, but not many compelling pitches. Will none of the contestants so far make the cut? So I have one question for you. The problem with that is how can I invest in your idea if I can't see how I'm going to get my money back? All right, let's find out from the judges if we have anybody that's worthy of that 10 million yet. Any takers? No. Not quite. No. So no for you? No. No. Nah. No. Because nah. we're hardly getting businesses, we're getting ideas. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. We're getting ideas, but we're not getting Solutions. solid ideas. We need solid yeah. ideas. Ideas that Bemi and Lola and Links can put money in. We're yeah. not, we're not getting, yeah. we're not yet there. Not quite yet. Exactly. Not there yet. Pitch Nigeria, brought to you by Sterling. What does it take to be a, su a successful businessman in Nigeria? I think there are a few things. Um, first of all, you have to have a solid business plan. Um, having a solid business plan means understanding the business that you're about to start beyond just the excitement of starting a business, but also the pros and cons, the challenges that you might face on the way, and um, most importantly, your financial budget to start the business. 
For me, I think you need to be um, focused, you need to be determined, you need to have that entrepreneurial mindset and you need to have, um, you know, a strong zeal. Majority of these amazing ideas were not from Lagos, which just shows you that, you know, all around the country there are people who are thinking of solutions to problems that some of us might not even realize we have. It started with an application process, so those applications were reviewed. When they were reviewed, so we were able to grade and see those very good businesses that we felt could, you know, and they went through um, a training, they went through an online training, so that had already given them the edge. So people come and they meet with other people that they can actually do business with and they can learn from. Nigeria, brought to you by Sterling. It's time for a timeout right now on the pitch, Nigeria, but our judges and our contestants need a little bit of time just to get refreshed so we can come back and give you the magic moments on the pitch right here. When we do come back, we're going to have a judge change. Replacing Wali Anifoeshe would be Chinazo Okoye from the EDC. This is the pitch, Nigeria. Stay tuned for some more amazing pitches coming up next.